Hi, this is Staff Sergeant Gossett. Today I'm going to be going over some of the steps that I use and prioritize as far as case prepping goes. So with that, I'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, first, I like to start with real high quality brass. That makes prep a little bit more simple, more fluid, and it helps you with consistency overall. So uh, start with either fired or unfired brass. Most of the time, I am going to be sizing the brass in order to ensure it fits properly in my chamber, as well as uh, having good, consistent neck tension. So every neck is going to be the exact same. Sometimes when you get brass right from the factory, you have a little bit of issues with dented necks or, or something like that. So this kind of ensures everything is consistent. Uh, so taking a fired piece of brass, uh, my process is very uh, much the same way. I'm going to go ahead and lube up my case. So I like to use Imperial sizing lube. This uh, will kind of ensure that I'll never get a case stuck. I've never had any issues with it. So uh, first I like to lube up the inside of the necks. Okay, just a real small amount of lube, no excess. Um, so that way I have a really clean entry and exit uh, from the expander. So after I lube up the inside, get a little dab of case lube and I'll go ahead and just rub it over the entire case, over the, make, making sure I have the outside of the neck and the entire body dimension. So after I lube up my cases, I'm gonna go ahead and run it through my press. So this die is already set up to bump my shoulder back approximately three thousandths. Um, so that will basically make sure that I have a real nice feeding and cycling uh, system. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and run through. After, uh, or basically when I start my sizing process, I'm going to make sure that I measure that shoulder bump uh, before I run through an entire batch. So what I have here is a shoulder bump gauge that you can put on the shoulder of the case, and then here's just a pair of dial calipers. So with that, I already set up this, like I said, to bump the shoulder back three thousandths. So we're right on the money there. We'll run through one or two more. As you can see, it's real nice and smooth. I don't have any sort of sticking in there, so no issues. Um, after that, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the outside body. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about cleaning my brass. Uh, I've done a lot of testing and I just haven't seen it to make much of a difference as far as clean versus somewhat dirty. Um, that will kind of dictate the type of environment that you're shooting in. Could have possibly shot in some rainy or dirty or dusty conditions that obviously I would clean the brass. So after that process is done, I'll wipe off my excess lube. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up the inside and outside of the case. Okay, so I'm gonna run this in real quick and deburr the inside and the outside of my case. Kind of tap that to make sure I don't have any sort of brass shavings in the case. Um, so what this does, the main goal is to achieve a really nice and smooth bullet seating operation. So that'll just ensure that uh, when I go to swap my die to my cedar die, um, put a bullet on there, go to seat it, it's very nice and smooth and consistent every single time. Uh, so after that, I'm gonna inspect these, make sure they're all good, and it's a nice clean cut. So those are ready to prime, uh, charge with powder, and seat the bullet.